Hello Upstreet and welcome back to our online worship in your home. Hey, I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you guys are healthy. And if this is your first time here, thanks for joining us. I hope it's not your last and I really hope that you are blessed during this time. Now for the month of May, we've been talking about this word, determination. And determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So boys and girls, let's continue to live a life of determination. Never give up and always keep going. And so with that said, let's get ready for worship. Great job, everyone. I hope you had a fun time of worship. Now, for the month of May, we're continuing our series on the word determination. And determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. So today, we're gonna learn about a person who had a lot of determination, and his name was Stephen. And so you might be wondering, Pastor Tim, uh, who was Stephen? So, we're introduced to Stephen in Acts chapter 6, and the Bible tells us that Stephen was wise, and that he was full of the Holy Spirit, and that he was also full of God's grace and God's power, and this guy, he was pretty awesome too. He did all these miraculous signs amongst the people, and he loved to help people. Now, did you know that Stephen was one of the seven people that was chosen by Jesus' disciples to take care of and to feed God's people? Yeah, pretty amazing guy, right? But you know what? There were some people that were not huge fans of Stephen. You know, there were some religious leaders who began to spread all these false rumors against him. They began to argue with Stephen, and they even said that Stephen was a man of blasphemy. In other words, they said that Stephen was making fun of God and Moses. And so these religious leaders, what they did was they eventually arrested him and they put him into trial. But here's the thing, Stephen, he wasn't angry, he wasn't upset, but the Bible actually tells us that he had the face of an angel. Whoa, yo, uh, don't do that ever again, okay? <sighs> Gross. And so during the trial, the high priest asked Stephen if these accusations against him were true. Now, what we have to remember is that a lot of the religious leaders spread these false rumors against him. And so Stephen had every right to be angry. He had every right to be upset because he did nothing wrong, but this was his reply during the trial. He began to tell them this long speech about the story of God's people. So he talked about Abraham, he talked about Jacob, Joseph, Moses, David and Solomon and then finally he came to the heart of the story and he told everyone that it was the religious leaders that killed Jesus. So this made the religious leaders furious and angry. So what they did was they rushed towards Stephen and they dragged him out of the city and they picked up these stones and they began to throw them at him. And this was Stephen's last words right before he was stoned to death and he said, Lord, receive my spirit and do not hold this sin against them. Man, that is some powerful words. So Stephen continued to share the love of God even to his very last breath. I know that this was a sad end to the story, but here's the thing. This was not actually the end for Stephen because we know that he is in heaven with Jesus. And so even though his life was difficult, even though he was accused of all these things, he knew the end of the story. He knew that he would be in heaven with God because of the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, we don't always know how things are going to end. We don't know when it's safe to go back to school. We don't know when it's safe to go outside. But boys and girls, if there's anything that you remember, I hope that you would remember our bottom line for today, and it says this. Keep going because God knows the end of the story. Okay, let's close with a memory verse, and it comes from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, and it says this. Let us not become tired of doing good, 
at the right time we will gather a crop if we don't give up. And with that said, Pastor Tim out. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so dark in here. I'm afraid of the dark. Pastor Tim out. Whoa, man, that was scary. Uh, I'm actually afraid of the dark. You know, gotta do a hands, you know, so that doesn't happen again. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. Pastor Tim out.